when Master Evil comes to play. And Mama says that it's okay. Alex and Josh are stole away. And made to watch these movies. To stay alive until the day they made us. Hello, listeners! Welcome to Slash Tracks, episode 12. Hello, Josh, and how are you this evening? Uh, I'm okay, I guess. Are you not going to say anything to Alex? Josh, don't, don't worry about it. Everything is just fine. It's anything but fine, Alex, and you know it. If it hadn't al- if I hadn't already prepared tonight's movie, you would be knee deep in Ghoulies Four. Wow. Okay. That's that's a hell of a threat. I am sensing a little animosity between you two, so I'm starting to think the sleepover did not go that well. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> Gee, wow, dude, he's acting like you hit on his mom or something. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that exactly. Silence! Honey, is that Alex? Tell him I said hi and sorry about the other night. I really didn't mean to make him feel so uncomfortable. Yuck, Ma! Stop! Okay, Jesus. This is an interesting turn of events. (laughs) Yeah, uh... I'll just say Master Evil isn't going to be inviting me to too many sleepovers in the near future, Josh. Maybe not, but from the sound of it, maybe Mother Evil will. I said silence. Tonight you watch Friday the 13th, 8th, Jason Takes Manhattan. This is by far the worst in this series. It's got horrible acting. A misleading title. Half the kills take place off screen. And of course, Muppet Jason. <laughs> Alex, be sure to call whenever you feel like talking. That's it! Alex, I hope you are prepared to really know my wrath. And Josh, a care package is on its way. I hope you enjoy it. Part of me wants to think that's a menacing, like, innuendo or something, but I'm going to go out on a limb, give you the benefit of the doubt because everything that's going on, and say thank you. I did send you a list of stuff I could really use, but I honestly, I never thought you'd actually read it. I did, and have sent you the things you've asked for. Uh, come on, Alan. I said I was sorry. It's not even my fault. D- just please don't do this to me. My name is Master Evil. Only friends call me Alan. And not your fault. I'm... Listen, Alan... Well, your hand just has a mind of its own. Your hand? Come on, Alan. I mean, I mean, Master Evil. Come on, Master Evil. Tomato, tomato... Potato, potato, baby. Do I look like Josh to you? I think not. Stop your insolence. <laughs> Someone's in the doghouse. Um, alright. So, um, Al, Al, Alan, um, 
how is Mr. Flivel doing? Oh, he is doing spectacularly evil this evening. Just had his claws sharpened mm. as well. Thanks for asking. No problem. You should pay him a visit. Perhaps we could watch a wrestling pay-per-view soon. Sure. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Is this even really happening? What the... What in the hell? It was one hand touch. It was like a two-minute gaze into each other's eyes. It was a harmless... Harmless... That was my ma! You broke rule number one. Sweetie, how are you doing in there? I'm fine, ma. I was talking to Alex, hon. That's it. Stop the movie. I'm doing really well. Make sure you wait for me. You got my digits I wrote down for you, right, girl? Dude, they hung up. Fuck. Dude, we gotta talk about this. Mother evil, really? I mean, I don't know what she looks like, but... Well, we don't have to talk about anything, because nothing happened. There's nothing to talk about. It didn't happen, you know what I'm saying? Okay, like, so... Just expounding. He's just making it up, and you're totally on his shit list, and all of a sudden, I'm the golden boy. For no reason. No reason at yes. all. Yes. Yeah. Just because he's evil. Yes. Oh. Okay. Well, um, thanks to you, I have to watch a horrible, shitty Jason movie, the, my least favorite. And I know a lot of people's going to be like, your least favorite? Uh, yeah, Jason X is my favorite. I love Jason Goes to Hell. Love Part 5. Don't really care for Part 3. But this one is the worst. And that's your fault. So I can't... It's going to be hard to concentrate on this when all I can think about is you and Mother Evil. Let's, listen, let's just say, I'm not saying something happened, I'm not saying something didn't happen, but I can't turn off what I've got going on like a light switch, okay? I, what I have naturally attracts mothers of all ages. I don't control that. That's just something I was born with. Well, he said so you broke rule number one. What's, what's rule number two? Y'all had rules? Like, what are these rules? I guess rule number one is don't bang my mom. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember seeing this rule list, and I don't remember seeing this set of rules, and I don't remember signing anything. I do remember during dinner he said that I needed to sign some sort of form for insurance reasons, but I don't, I didn't, who reads, who reads all the fine print? I have no idea. So you, you signed a contract mm -hmm. with a guy named Master Evil. Alan. Not anymore. Only friends call him that, and he let me do it. So I don't know what that means. We'll find out later, I guess. I'll talk to him about it. Maybe I can, maybe I can put in a good word for you this time, because, you know, you've had it pretty easy this whole time for a prisoner, man. And I've had it rough. And i, I got to say, as much as I love you, dude, I, I don't really feel bad for you right now, because it seems like you had a good thing going, and you thought with your little brain... And see, I picture Mother Evil like Master Evil, but with, like, long hair. So I don't even know what you would see in her. I don't know. She's wearing a mask from the rock band Hollywood Undead, but she's got, like, a banging body. So I, I don't know. She was pat pouring the gravy. The gravy's liquid, and it started getting me thinking. Uh, okay. What? Okay. Uh, let's just watch the movie. Let's just watch okay. the movie. Uh, once I, I get through this... I flew too close to the sun. I flew too close to the sun. I'm not saying I did. I'm not saying I did. I'm not is that actually a position? Not, I, huh? Is that, is that like the reverse cowgirl flying too close? To the, is that like a new position or something? Josh, start the movie. I don't want to talk about this stuff anymore that may, may or may not have happened. Start the oh, movie. Okay. For those of you watching along, if you're starting your copy of the movie, uh, we're going to tell you when to uh, do it. Or you can go to the description below, and there's a link at the very top where you can watch this episode with the movie included. Uh, so you don't have to do all this separately. Uh, we can't put it on YouTube for obvious reasons. Uh, but yeah, just click that link to the Google Drive, and it'll take you to the version of the episode with the movie playing with our commentary. If you're watching this by itself in your own version of Friday the 13th Part 8, your own copy, uh, you'll have to start it when we say go. Uh, but before we start, we got to do another code word, man. Give away another $10 uh, Amazon gift card. So I'm going to let Alex pick the code word. And uh, whoever 
puts that code word into the comment section first will receive a $10 Amazon gift card. The code word is Alex Rules. Alex Rules. I'm sure it's spelt with a Z at the end. Just like Hulk, uh, Hulk Hogan, baby. <laughs> what you gonna do when one of the slash maniacs wins a $10 Amazon gift card on you? So yeah, be the first. If you've already won one, you're gonna have to wait. You can't, you can't win them back to back. Uh, 30 days between wins. So uh, if you've already, if you already won one, uh, we'll let somebody else win it this time. So yeah, Alex rules in the comment section, and uh, we're gonna start the movie. Uh, when we say go, hit play or uh, click that link and watch it with the movie included. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> This is the first like key, 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 key. This is the first uh, Jason movie they start out with the key, 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 ma, ma, ma to begin the movie. It, it sounded more like J, J, Jason, this movie sus, 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 sucks. <laughs> no, it, it said Lily, why you still have a ch, 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 chance? <laughs> yes. Get, get the hell, hell, hell out of the th th theater. Not, 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 not really Manhattan. This Batman, is also, man. I love the Batman logo there. This is also one of the first Jason movies they start off with not like a, a montage of like, like a Rocky style montage where they show what happened in the previous films. Hey, it's those guys that Jason's going to see at the very, very end of the movie. Yeah, we actually played two of those characters in the thumbnail. Right. Oh, Barbara Bingham. Jesus, man. Yeah, that's probably a... And you know Barbara Bingham from her other her other roles, such as... And, and also... And who could forget her in her lovable and heartwarming role in... I can't. Yeah, she's, she's a multifaceted, multi-talented actress. Oh, it's Bruce Wayne's dad. Yeah, the <laughs> the so apparently Manhattan only has two criminals in the entire city of like That's hundreds it. of thousands of people. Hey, at least he was smart enough to put the wallet into the wallet receptacle barrels. Uh, they're all over New York. That it, you recycle your wallets there. And then Rats. this rat found four baby turtles. <laughs> yes, that was Barbara Bingham actually. <laughs> Hey, there's the one waitress that's, uh, that appears into the movie later, and she's like, welcome to New York. She, she, she also... Traveler? Is... Looks like Nikki from Orange is the New Black. She would have been <laughs> a kid is... back then. That's what she's doing before she uh, committed her felony to, to, to be on the Netflix you know, super hit. Have you seen the uh, blooper of this scene with Jason coming down the escalators? Yes, I, I, hmm. I have, but refresh my memory. It's just him coming down the escalators. Like, literally, that's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> By the way, it's like, okay, we got to shoot like seven minutes of New York footage. Let's show five minutes of it at the beginning of the movie. Then we're going to wait till the last ten minutes and show the other two minutes. Got it? Takes Manhattan. Roll us. So these guys here apparently just shoot heroin all day long by a burning barrel. That's their no, life. No, that was actually behind-the-scenes footage of how people prepared themselves to be in this shit-ass of a movie. <laughs> They're like, you got Jason Takes Manhattan. This should be a great day. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to have to blast a load of heroin into my veins to get through this shitter. Exactly. All right, now we're going to go back to uh, Crystal Lake. By the way, the novelization for Freddy vs. Jason explains how Crystal Lake is attached to the sea. I thought that was a cool little thing they threw in there. Hey, the lights are on in those cabins. So does that mean the, the, the campground's open right now? They can because Jason has been logged, uh, chained to the bottom of the lake since uh, the end of Part 7. Okay. Which All right. has been like eight years. This is like eight years after Part 7. This is like the year 2000. Well, everybody knows Batman. Uh, Tim Burton's Batman came out in 2000. Yeah, exactly. But no shit, this movie's supposed to take place like in the year like 1999 or so. This girl here was one of the first girls Ooh. I ever saw, like, naked. 1132. You take out the one, you take out the two, you got a 13 in the middle. 
uh, you got to hand it to these uh, people throwing those little things into the movie like that. Hey, Josh, have you ever seen the movie Fear? Yes. Okay. Do you remember Reese Witherspoon's friend who gets killed in the woods by Mark Wahlberg? Huh? <laughs> what? What were you, you re- saying? Oh, hey, what? Yeah. Do you do you remember the guy who got killed in the woods by Mark Wahlberg because he was friends with Reese Witherspoon? Oh yeah, he was an ass. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, so uh, I remember. I remember. That's him right there. Okay. He was gotta, an ass. <laughs> gotta throw the anchor over. Oh, I'm gonna. You get. I'm giving it all to you here. This is all you, man. Riff away. You've had plenty of time to come up with material for this scene. Oh, this geez. is what gave you the idea to riff this movie. Don't put me on. No, the scene, this isn't the scene. The scene oh, that well, gave... that's later. That's later. Gotcha. Yeah, that wasn't this. <laughs> this, this, this scene is a little more shocking uh, yeah, than this that is, scene. This is ridiculous. Do you see how clear that water was underneath? And Wow. Uh, Crystal Lake. It's not, it's not Muggy Lake or Dingy Lake or Shitwater Lake. It's Crystal Lake. So I'm not it, surprised. Well, it actually looked like a municipal pool lake uh, instead of uh, an actual lake. Look at that. Come on. <laughs> Why is there one rogue power power line underneath? The and they lake? made sure to install it, you know, within dragging distance of Jason's corpse. Oh, shit. How long is that anchor? Like, how deep is this lake? Oh. Um, um, hey, no Jason... Idea. Jason did not have hair as a little boy. Why does he have a full head of hair and look normal right there? <laughs> they they spent all their money, uh, you know, shooting in New York, <coughs> Vancouver. So uh, they had to kind of drop down the makeup effects a little bit. Yeah, they're like, we can't afford bald caps anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they're hey, know, Josh, at least they stuck with the bringing him back with electricity thing. You know? Listen. They're, sw- they're, they're filming at an actual swimming pool because we've established how clear this is. Or They've got to have a swimming cap somewhere on set. Yeah, to they're stick that at on. a pool. Yeah, you stick can it say on the- not only was he bald and deformed, but for some reason his head looked rubbery and dark. Hey, hold on one second. Jason wasn't laying down underneath a stack of pallets in the New Blood, by the way. Yes, he was. That guy came up through the deck and pulled Jason down through the deck. The dad. He sure did. Chuck came well, up through the deck, wrapped a chain around him, pulled him down. That is how he died in part seven. I think uh, Tina's dad came. She brought him back from the from the lake, and he comes up with chains and drags Jason through the deck. Yeah, but that's where's his where's his dad at? Where's her dad? Why isn't he down there? I don't know. What the hell's going on? Maybe they had a reunion after that. She brought him back for good. All, all he looked like from, like, years of being under there was, like, like he had a muddy face. They didn't even let him do, like, decay and stuff like they wanted to. Yeah, he's like the guy. He's like Fred Flintstone in Ghoulies 3 who got blown up by the Acme bomb. He's just got, like, a little bit of dust and smoke on his cheeks. <laughs> and uh, Jason has changed clothes somehow since he's been under the lake. Did you just see Jason's fingertips? They look like Kane Hodder's just normal fingertips yes. right there. Well, he got that. He got that uh, manicure and stuff. He had to show it off. <laughs> it's just like like normal, totally normal skin on the tip of his fingers. The the conclusion of this scene was actually filmed quite different. Uh, indeed, I'm not Jim. I I'm the killer, and I'll screw around if I want to. Just once in a horror movie, I want somebody to go. Is that you, Jim? <laughs> no, bitch. It's Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell do not, you think it is? It's not Jim. It's the last person you're ever going to see alive, bitch. This guy got a hockey mask because of the legend and somehow knew exactly where to put the X damage from part three on the mask. Yeah, well, remember in uh, Friday the 13th, part five, where Roy had a, the newspaper clipping of Jason? Uh, someone took a photo of Jason <laughs> <laughs> and survived. <laughs> Yes. That's about his. That's about the same type of logic here. Jason's like, how convenient. Well, hey, it's even got that spot where I got chopped in the head by Chris in that oh, bar yeah. years back. You know what would be really good is if Jason actually picked up the fake knife and stabbed one of them, but didn't realize it was fake. That would have been good that, shit. I, I bet 
that Kane might have come up with an idea like that. Man, Jason is like the ultimate uh, cock blocker. He's he's definitely his 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 ultimate arch nemesis in real life is Trojan Man. I'd like to see him kill him in like a cartoon. Why Jason is, versus Trojan Man? When did he change his clothes? Whenever he was trapped under the lake, maybe maybe Tina's dad was a sicko. Maybe he was down there just like dressing. Well, you know he's dead. He's dead down there. He's got nothing else to do. He's giving Jason different outfits and stuff. Bitch, your mouth ain't taped shut or nothing. You weren't kissing him. Can't you say, dude's got a spear gun behind you? Okay, so this guy, like, didn't even put up a fight at all. He did didn't nothing. say please. Didn't say fuck you. What a fucking chump. He deserves to die. <laughs> Can we do a redo, Jason? Hold on. I didn't. I don't want to go out like a bitch. At least his hair looks immaculate while he's dying. He must work out. He must condition. That looks like a pencil for some reason. I like always thought... Like a tip. Hey, so when he's pulling that spear out, is that his, is he pulling out that guy's guts? Or I is hope that no, because just... it looks like plastic tubing. I used yeah. to wonder that too. What the hell is that supposed okay. to be? This scene right here, if you've never seen it, you've got to go look it up. Maybe we can show a clip at the end of the episode. But this scene ended so differently in one of the bloopers. Kane Hodder put on like a 12-inch strap-on without the actress hiding down there knowing. And when the hatch gets opened... She looked up, and he's just sitting there breathing hard with this huge strap on. Uh, that would scare the hell out of me, I think. That would scare me more than uh, Jason Voorhees. That would also scare me. And that was actually, they used uh, that outtake in the Me Too movement, actually, recently, Josh. There's a lawsuit. Against Jason? Yeah, against Jason Voorhees, not Kane Hodder. And she's yelling that, too, whenever he's standing there with it. This is, these are the worst Move. Move victims. Move out of the way, girl. Yeah, these are the worst victims ever. They just take it. You have room to move back and forth, at least make it hard on him. God, he used the same weapon to kill both of them. Well, that was actually the bolt that missed the first guy. He just shoved a gun into that other guy's stomach. <laughs> he just went old school, just absolute blunt object. He's like, he's like, okay, I tried shooting with it and I missed. You know what? I'm just going to stab him with the bolt because uh, I'm apparently not a good shot. Everybody remembers this huge dock at Crystal Lake from oh, the yeah, previous film. Oh, yeah. Jason went for a swim. Stayed, mind you, he's free from being chained to the bottom, but instead he decides to just walk and swim underneath the lake until he finds another boat to get on. He could have went back to camp on the land, but he's choosing to instead stay in the water. It's his new home, apparently. No, uh, Josh, he doesn't No, You'll see the boat he just took. The boat shows up in the background of the cruise oh, ship. So, so he, he took the boat there. He's a boat. Yes. He's, a, he's a boater. He's a boater now. He's a boat guy. He's he a boat guy. he he knows more about being a captain of a of a freaking boat than the son of the captain of the Lazarus does. <laughs> Thank you, mom, for this pen that I could kill someone with. You see, look. Look, yeah, he's he's up there at the he's at the captain's wheel, J man. Jason's got a little <clears throat> Stewie Griffin captain hat on right now. He's going to a sexy party, sexy <laughs> party. And there's Crazy Ralph's nephew, by the way. Little yeah. uh, inside knowledge: if you didn't know that, it's in the script. Okay, did you know that? that that's no, Crazy didn't... Ralph's nephew in the story. Okay, I didn't know that, but if I'm him and I'm working on the this boat for like, you know, five twenty five an hour. And I have this bad feeling that, you know, hell's coming to this cruise ship. I'm leaving. I'm going straight to the unemployment office. I'm going to go get another job, you know, mopping floors at some shit house exactly. or something. And before anybody goes and Googles the Crazy Ralph thing, I'm totally making it up. But it sounded real. He's a, comp he's a direct ripoff of Crazy Ralph, though. Very good call on that. Okay, Ooh. you can bring her, but not the dog. I'm just, I'm a cat person. Uh, no dogs. No dogs allowed. One thing about this movie that always confused me, it's like, look at all the background <laughs> seniors that just graduated. Jason, you know, taking care of each one of them. How did he dispatch the, them? Oh, they all die off screen. 
uh, later in in the party, like in the dance room. That that's something I was gonna address when it happens. Half the kills on this boat are, are off screen, and like they pretty much just drown or whatever, or just get burnt. Man, this guy is just pissy. He if is I could intense. Just, yeah, if I could describe one word for this guy, it's pissy. I would say he's like a combination of the psychiatrist from Part 7 and the sheriff from Part 6. Like if they had a love child. That's this guy. Dude, the sheriff from Part 6, Sheriff Garris, actually has some balls. And he's got some great one-liners. He's like, I'm going to paint the walls with your brains! I like the deputy. Wherever the light goes, you bang. Rick Cologne. It, it is hard to watch part six, though, being the father of a daughter. And whenever he sees Jason going after her and he knows he's going to die for doing it, but he jumps out, you know, it's like, yeah, I get it. What is up with all these old people giving people presents today? You know, happy graduation. Here's a weird boat thing. A sexton. <clears throat> is that what it's called? It's a sexton. Well, I'm not very boat savvy then. Alex. I grew up. I grew up on the coast. I at know least, this stuff. at least Master Evil likes me right now. Well, I used to be able to actually go to the coast and enjoy outdoor activities before I was chained to this laptop for the rest and of my life. If you hadn't broken out your sexton at, with Mother Evil, you would be in better shape right now. Allegedly. Oh man, that guy didn't even want to hear about it. So has he, okay, why is he getting so pissed off at Sean? Has he been training him to be a captain? Or is this just a you should have been paying attention situation? He's like, you're not even my dad. I just met you today. What is wrong with you, man? I don't, want, I don't want your life. How old was the dad? I know, it's like he his great Oh, here, you oh, go. here go we go. It. Here we go. This is, the, this is my muse for the whole film. There's the inspiration. Nobody saw him. Uh, show up on the anchor, like just out of nowhere, completely like loud as shit, like a torpedo coming to the surface. There was kids hanging off the top of the dock. Nobody saw that. Going up. Hey, I got a piece of trivia for you. Uh -huh. Sean's buddy, who was in the captain's uh, room right there where he got his present. Have you ever seen the Left Behind movies with Kirk Cameron? I have not. Okay, I'm not a well, big. That's fine. That's fine. He plays. The, the false prophet, the, the guy who takes over the world, the main bad guy in those movies <laughs> is Sean. Wow. <laughs> Wait well, a that's second. That's a normal game on a graduation cruise. Yeah, hold on one second. They're Here's shooting, a shotgun. They're shooting clay pigeons off the deck. Like, the guy, the guy who's in charge, you know, Rennie's uncle, is allowing that. <laughs> that's the most unbelievable part of this film. Not you want to have fun? Zombie, you know? watching any movie or TV show, anytime you see people like on a dance floor dancing, know this, when they were filming it, nine times out of ten, no music. They're just dancing to nothing. Uh, that's the way they shoot those scenes. Music is added later. So anytime you see a movie where the dancing just does not match the music, it's because they added it post. Uh, and they were out there dancing to nothing. Yeah, I saw that in uh, the final chapter, Crispin Glover was actually dancing to a completely different song. Yeah than what they played on the actual release. I don't know you, but you like dogs, and I've got a Statue of Liberty necklace, so we're going to be best friends. Hey, how the hell did he get a cheesy, cheap Statue of Liberty necklace before they even got to Manhattan? That's like something you'd buy at a tourist attraction yeah. in Manhattan. They how don't the sell those at your, local, at your local gas and sips or anything? At Crystal Lake Gas and Sip, he got yeah. one of those. Yeah, they got that. They got the Liberty Bell for in case you're going there. Well, this is before Craigslist and before eBay, so he he seriously wants to get laid by this this girl because he had to either go to Manhattan beforehand or really really dig for this at thrift stores. You know what we talked about? Any you can have any necklace you want as long as it doesn't have. As long as it's not a tacky souvenir necklace. You, <laughs> you know how I feel about those. He's all, Rennie, you know what we talked about. I'm your uncle. I'm your guardian. I'm the only one who gets to sleep with you. And be creepy. Best character that gets killed in the movie. Uh, she's kind of a throwaway character, if I don't mind saying so. 
Yeah, but she gets a really cool kill. JJ, jo short for Joan Jet. It is. Okay, never mind. The I don't like you that. anymore. What's hey, up with this guy? Uh, the only thing Corey this Feldman. guy needs, the only thing this guy needs, is a plastic bag floating next to him. This guy, hey, they couldn't get Corey Feldman because Corey, the real Corey Feldman, was filming License to Drive, so they got his doppelganger. And they told him, "You're going to regret not doing this movie, Corey. One of these days." You're going to have to do a shitty Puppet Master versus Demonic <laughs> Toys movie, and that wouldn't have happened if you had just taken the time to do Jason Takes Vancouver with us. How would they even fit Tommy Jarvis's character on the, into this film? <laughs> I wish they would have uh, made novelizations of part uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and 11, and 12. I want to know where this guy got this shirt, because that shirt is wonderful. He got it at Crystal Lake Gas and Sip and Souvenirs <laughs> from Random States. Well, everybody knows that people dress well, like this in the year 2000. Yeah, this is totally year 2000 stuff. Yeah. And the music is whew, so 2000s. I, I remember being a junior and senior in high school and all the girls crimping their hair. Jason, you've you got a whole boat full of people. Change your damn clothes. I mean, come on. <laughs> they should be able to smell him coming a mile away. Yeah, Jason shouldn't be hunting down people right now. He should be hunting down a bargain for a new outfit. <laughs> and a bar of soap. Hunting down a bar of soap and a toothbrush. This is creepy. Why, why, why is he looking at her in the eyes so deeply and touching her face? What's well, more creepy is she's got like a little crusty in the corner of her nose there. He's, he's more of a he's villain in this that. film than Jason. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he can't die quick enough. Hey, and we get to see the one scene of Ken Kurzinger as Jason later that got him the role in Freddy vs. Jason by saying he played Jason in a whole movie. And Ronnie was <laughs> like, well, that's good for me. That's good for me. I'm totally, that's fine. Everything's fine. When Ken Nothing Kurzinger gets hit by a car, or when Jason gets hit by a car, that's Ken Kurzinger doing the stunt, not, not Kane. It's, you Kane know what's was like, like, I'll do any stunts you want, but you're not hitting me with a fucking car. No, I, I was told that I was told, or not, I wasn't told, but I was under the understanding that the company knew, or Paramount was like, no, we're, we're, there are a few stunts we don't want you to do because you're actually the star now. I know, I was joking. Oh, you were? Yeah, really? it's a comedy show, yeah. Oh, I, oh, easy. yeah, real funny <laughs> when my fucking ankle's chained to this desk. <laughs> Everything's real funny. Thanks for reminding me. Jason's like, why can't these stairs be fucking bigger? God damn it. I'm going to kill somebody for this. <laughs> hey, do you notice how he's not looking down while he's walking down the steps? <laughs> he's totally into character right it's here. Like, I don't want to fall. Don't want to fall. Don't want to fall. Jason would never look down at his feet. That guy could still jump off the boat and save his own life. And exactly. Like, ah, people screaming. He knows people are getting murdered. And yet he's still, he's such a good worker, he decides to continue the shift. I am making force 15 an hour, so. <clears throat> hey, Crystal Lake uh, gas and sip doesn't pay for itself, okay? This is so, the movie where Kane Hodder came out and said, Jason would not kill a dog. Um, so she's talking to her dog, but... Did she, is she just talking to the dog, or does she actually think the dog's actually talking back to her? I think so. I think so. Why does Jason... Jason J he loves boats, man. After he had his own boat, he wanted to upgrade. Everybody wants to upgrade. The way they filmed this scene is really cool, by the way. You should watch the behind the scenes on how they did that, coming through the porthole into the room. Okay. It was, it was actually really cool. The way, and no joke, it was really cool the way they did that. Look it up on YouTube. I'm not allowed to use YouTube. You know that. And neither I'm are you. To how our do you viewers. have, how do you have access? Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you were. Okay. I'm just not used to the tables being turned on me this much. I, I apologize. <laughs> That's what the dog's <laughs> saying right there, by the way. <laughs> I'm a dog. She's got like three different changes of clothes, and they all look like the same blouse. <laughs> hey, Jason had changes of clothes at the bottom of the lake under a pier. So. He's, he's, he's high maintenance, too. Yeah, that's exactly what Jason looked like as a kid, by the way. 
Yeah, I remember Jason's hair just being a mop top on top. Of he what, was not a mongoloid apparently anymore. The dog was reacting to seeing Jason in there, by the way. She's hallucinating. Anytime she sees that, she's hallucinating that from a story her whatever told her when she was little. So at the end of the movie, that's not Jason cowering as a child. That's her hallucinating. The dog saw Jason in the window. He wasn't reacting to her hallucination. <clears throat> Um, ladies and gentlemen, the Scorpion Kings, Kelly Hugh. Yep. And she's also an X-Men. She's the one with the long fingernails. X-People. You gotta be correct, man. Uh, Julius is supposed to be, like, you know, the best boxer in the, in the school, but his form is pretty awful. Oh. Those are such styles from the year 2002. Wait a minute. He's undefeated. Undefeated at what? Cruise ship senior class boxing matches? Well, what is he, he also at? has the girls follow him to every fight, and they get up on the on the roof, and they look down and distract the opponent every time. So it's kind of a team effort there. Every like, fight he's ever been in, they look up, and there's like a couple hot girls looking down at him. Here's, Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Hey, I'm about ready to screw something you know, nice and tight with this wrench. That's you that's ever, a met, that, that's a metaphor right there for his cock. <laughs> you you ever seen Orgasmo? Oh yeah, that guy that's always like, "Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing?" <laughs> then he like slaps his ass. I don't want to sound like a queer or anything, but I but really like the pest mode. And rainbows are kick ass. <laughs> I'd really like to sleep with you tonight. Yeah, I don't want to sound gay or anything. That's Matt Stone. Uh, who did that in that movie? He's great. Oh god, basketball's even better. Yeah, no, this guy, I like Orgasmo better. This guy looks a little bit like Matt Stone, to be honest with you. If we're gonna be, ooh, some ooh, that's, non, that's nondescript, baby. Yeah, yeah, nondescript white uh, illicit drugs, huh? Snort that baby powder. Come on. <laughs> no, that's actually coffee, mate. They couldn't afford baby powder for this shoot. You want to really, fr if you're a coffee drinker and you use coffee mate, next time you do, light a lighter and like sprinkle the coffee mate over the lighter. It's fucking flammable and you're putting that in your body all the time. Oh, hey, speaking of that, I just watched a, a documentary about Nickelodeon and Are You Afraid of the Dark? Well, you know what they throw on the flames to start the episode? Coffee. Coffee mate. Yeah, that's, yep. yeah, that's how. Give her a hit. She's never done drugs, but let's let her loot, let's let her do cocaine. Hey, Twenty One Jump Street. Remember on Twenty One Jump Street when uh, they're going through the the confiscation room and they're like, "Should we get some weed?" Or no, they're like, "Should we get some coke?" And he's like, "We're just trying to let them have a good time, not ruin their fucking lives." <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you don't want none of this. <laughs> you don't want none of this weed, man. Why? I'm not doing it. That's a, that's a rabbit hole. I'm thinking I do want I, I think I do want to try it. It's not addictive. <laughs> it's that's the best the part. <laughs> no, that's the worst part. I'm thinking I do want to try it. Uh-oh. Jason, remember his uh, sordid history with janitors? He's going to be pissed. <laughs> okay. And that's how people really talk to, like, are you ready to party? Are you ready to party, man? Hey, did you notice that her top matches that little bag of that she holds her coke in? It's like, like the bag matches identical to her top. Well, that's a big year two thousand. Oh yeah, man. you don't remember yeah. that? No, and I, you know, I also remember the drug of choice in the year two thousand being coke. Yeah, yeah. not not the eighties. It could have been Molly or Sarah. Or, or Lucy, or, or Kelly Hugh, Kelly. Lu or Lucy Molly. Roddy tidy Lucy Molly. <laughs> what the hell? Is this guy the principal, a teacher, or a dean? I think he's just an old man that just intimidates young people. They're actually like his hostages or something. Well, well I got another question. They've graduated. They're on the graduation cruise why the hell is he still accepting assignments? They're graduated. I know, right? Like, why do they have to answer to him? Yeah, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> it, school's out. Like, it's over. That's a good point. I've never thought of that. They're why the graduated. Hell is she, yeah, why the <laughs> hell is she having to turn in 
projects at this point. I mean, the ship has sailed. It's like the Sopranos. It's over. Man, I do not like saunas. I've tried it, and it's like, if I want to go sweat my ass off somewhere, I don't want to be in a <laughs> confined room with a bunch of other naked people. Well, and saunas are also like, they have to be a breeding ground for COVID now. I mean, come right. on. Jason's like, damn it, I wanted to be alone in here. No, Jason's old. like, damn it, I wanted to kill this guy, but I'm not supposed to be within six feet of him because of the governor's <laughs> sanctions. Or it's like, damn it, yeah, the guy's Jason, relaxing. COVID was the worst thing that ever happened to Jason's kill count because he has to stay six feet away from everybody. <laughs> Freddy Krueger, he's fine. You know, in the dreams, in, the, in your dreams, you never have COVID. <laughs> Unless I give it to you, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> he gives it to you in your dreams. Are you going to cut me to death, Freddy? <laughs> no. You've got coronavirus. <laughs> but luckily, it's asymptomatic. <laughs> this is a rough kill, man. This is death on the rocks. Oh, dude. He's taking the, ro he's the rock inside of his chest cavity. That's a pretty brutal death. And it was like flaming as it went in, like as the gases came out. Oh, man. And you know that rock was just hotter than hell. Was it? Was it hotter than hell? I don't know how hot hell is because I hope I never uh, go there to find out how hot it is. But I would only imagine. Oh, here we go. Mean girls. Well, that's, that's normal non-psychopathic, sociopathic behavior. That girl's not troubled at all. That's a tip. Let's not, let's not, uh, let's just pretend like nothing happened here. She's perfectly normal. We're 30 minutes into this film, and this girl has already done coke, knocked a girl over the deck who can't swim, and what else has she done? Tried to bang the janitor on, bo on board, and she's it's, also helped fix a prize fight. It's not even Jason. Yeah, she's, she's horrible. It's not even Jason, it's just some little kid that's stalking her, trying to kill her, and nobody else can see him, you know? You, no, she's totally lost her mind here. We, I, don't, I can't tell if she's hallucinating or if this shit is real. Maybe that's just the way she pictures Jason when they talk about him, you know? Bald, deformed face, mongoloid, but no, it's uh, that kid. I think I'll pass. I, I'm done doing blow with you tonight. You know, I've actually discovered that you're a real bitch. I know that you cut that molly with some holly. And I'm fine with the molly, but not the holly. <laughs> she, she can't afford actual molly. So Don't just, even get me started with the jolly. The huge holly. <laughs> Have a molly jolly Christmas. <laughs> and in case Smiley Cyrus didn't hear. <laughs> More like Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> You know, we're going to have some people in the future on the comments saying, I wish these guys would shut up while I'm watching the movie. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this is a good Jason movie. I want to watch it. I typed in Jason Takes Manhattan, and all I got was these two assholes. <laughs> <laughs> right? I saw a commentary for a movie. It's like Freddy or something. And people were in the or Ninja Turtles 1 from 1990. I know I got Freddy mixed up with Ninja Turtles in my mind for some reason. Uh, and people were like, it said commentary track for Ninja Turtles. It said it right in the title. And people's like, thank you for uploading this movie, but why do you got to talk through the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the damn title. They're like, Slash Tracks is great. I mean, it'd be a great show if it wasn't for those two assholes that won't shut up during the show. I'm starting with the <laughs> slasher in the mirror. Okay, so now she's in Dairy Maine because blood is coming from the sink. Okay, that the, the the handyman on the boat is not a very good plumber, apparently. By the way, now the kid has a deformed face. Anybody notice yeah. that? Yeah, I do. And this girl has some undiagnosed mental uh, issues. She's got some serious undiagnosed issues going on. It's here. that old, It's her oh. uncle's fault, or dad, or whatever he is, because he what he did to her when she's a kid. He's, like, scarred her so horribly. By the way, that little kid was the director's son. He did a hell of a job. Great. 
absolute terrific casting. Is she wearing a kimono? What the hell is she wearing? Oh, it's he let her graduate, but she still has to turn in her final project. Oh, because everybody knows that's how high schools work. Are they high? Yeah, they are high school, aren't they? Yeah, that's how. That, but Josh, that's how high schools work. I know it is, dude. Work after graduation, dude. I had to screw like five teachers to graduate because <laughs> I didn't want to turn in my final project. You're you're, ta- you're preaching to the choir, <laughs> and oh. and. Mr. Smith did not appreciate it. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. <laughs> I said you got an A. Stop, Josh. Yeah, where's the nipple clamp from <clears throat> Jason X? Hold on one second. Your mouth says no, but your, your grade book says yes, yes. <laughs> Hold on one second. Her heart is placed a little too far over on the left side of her chest cavity. Uh, she didn't label those correctly. You failed. Maybe she's got two of them like a Time Lord. Maybe she's maybe she's Doctor Who's sister. So she's she's okay. She's totally making out with him for quite some time. What was he filming he for in. the other fourteen minutes and forty seconds? JJ's video, probably just walking, <laughs> just walking down the hallway. <laughs> he just saw the guy with the camera out of the corner of his eye, so he's acting. I'm appalled. And you need to really learn where the heart is. Yeah, you don't, you don't actually know where anything is anatomically on your body. That's all mislabeled. You fail. Here's the tape that I'm going to wave right in front of you. She's like, I'm going to tuck this underneath my liver. <laughs> That's your rib cage. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that, that camcorder, I would actually like to have that camcorder now. Look at that thing. That thing is oh. souped up. Alex, I got my kidneys hurting. Oh, God. (laughs) Okay, so she just basically sexually assaulted the principal or whatever he is. I don't even know what he is. And she's also drinking alcohol that he didn't confiscate. He left it there because she entrapped him, I guess. High school, man. High (laughs) High school everybody. year 2000. and In the year 2000, everybody's going to be fine with that stuff. You know that. In the year 2000. In, in the, the year, year 2000. 2000. In the year 2000. They kept all doing anatomical that after. <laughs> body parts will be mislabeled. Oh, yeah, he did guy. keep doing that. He was doing the year 2000 into like 2006. Poor guy. His gallbladder's in his throat now. He's got the biggest boner ever, and it's throbbing on the side of his head. Jason's like, <laughs> he's like doing a Scooby-Doo thing there. Yeah, what the hell? Why does, Jason, the why does he need to hide? Why did he he's wait for the guy to walk by? He could just kill everybody the way they are. Yeah, he could have just murdered that guy, like, right there. Oh, I'm glad that big guy's gone. I was afraid of him. Why does she have to take a shower after she canoodled with the, the dean here? Got to wash the liver off of her chest and the gallbladder off of her leg, man. Okay, if you're my... not going to show anything, then what's the whole point of this scene? Seriously. I don't know about you, Josh, but female backs turn me on, dog. Uh, I'm, I got to take a break. Just give me five minutes. Five minutes. God, if he's been under the water for like five or six y- years or whatever, or however long it's supposed to be, he could be as quiet as he wants. You're going to fucking smell him coming. Yuck, dude. Right? Did you just, what's he what's he poking his head into rooms for like that? You know, just looking around. I don't understand. This is the beginning of sneaky Jason. He can fucking teleport. He's so polite too, man. He's like, make sure no one's in here. Okay, now I can go use the chitter. I just jumped. I just actually jumped. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was Something. There's a perfect square in the door. Did you see that perfect square? Oh shit! Jason's got some uh, insecurities or something. Jason's MacGyver. He didn't have a weapon, so he made one. I can't hear you. That's Jason's MacGyver moment. He didn't have a weapon, so he fucking made one. <laughs> Is he 
this scene, I'm I'm not even gonna. Okay, okay, since you said no, this scene is disturbing. This is this is like at the bed, like she's begging and pleading for her life. I don't know what's going on, guys, but I can hardly hear you. You can barely hear me? Now I can hear you better. Okay. Uh, well, masturbating makes you go deaf. You, di you didn't know that? Oh, okay. Yeah, you can only see me from, like, here down, so. Well, you said you weren't wearing pants earlier. Dude, that was off-camera shit. <laughs> a little behind the slash track. Jason, so don't grab a thing that you have to shoot. You've already... <laughs> found out you're a terrible shot you're equilibrium you got water in your ears from eight years you're you're jason Nate? could listen jason let's be honest he doesn't even need a weapon he could kill them both with his with that sexton from earlier he just like well, you gotta look around the corner first see if they're in there okay so they only have the captain and the co-captain um, which I don't know how many captains it takes to run a... a why, does only, why, why is there only a wiper for the one window? What if you had to look out the other window? <laughs> Dude, they can't, they can't even afford bald caps in this film. You think they're going to have two wipers? <laughs> Here comes Sneaky Jason again. Dude, did he just stab him in the... Is he? He just that stabbed really? him right in the asshole. Did he? <laughs> It looks like he did. Oh my god. It looks this like he had this it is highly in the butt in the back. No, nope, not in the butt. I was wrong. Slow-mo for no reason. At least in this movie, he did it with the uh, sharp side of the machete. In part two, he uses the dull side. Well... Josh, you know, that's one of the kills that I don't feel that bad about because this captain is, you know, 87 years old. He yeah. lived a good life. He's, yeah, yeah. Jason's doing him a favor. I mean, he's still captaining a boat. He hasn't retired. His life sucks, let's be honest. I thought they were coming up into the main cabin. <laughs> I was like, there's making easy for Jason. Everybody's coming up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> one at a time. On the Nintendo game, there is the Jason meter just continually goes off in that cabin. Remember that music? Oh, yes. I suck at that game. When I was like 21, I had had it when I was a kid. I even called the hotline for LJN back in like 1992, years after the game came out. And they're like, that game came out in like the mid 80s. I don't know how to help you, but uh, when I was like 21, though, I played it with a Game Genie just so I could beat it, yeah. and after you kill Jason three times, it says, you find he's finally dead, or is he? Dun -dun 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 -dun. That's, that is the only Nintendo game I remember where it's just straight up said, you're dead. All your <laughs> you, friends are dead. You and your you friends lose. are dead. Game yeah. over. Yeah, all the, you and all of your friends are dead. Oh, hey, guy who's not been in the movie at all. Here's your five seconds. Okay, I have another question really quick. Sean just went into the captain's uh, quarters right here and saw his dad standing up at the wheel. But when he was murdered, he was, he was on, on the, the ground. ground. So Jason took the time to stand him up as a ruse, as a yep. trick? Yep. He's a what? prankster, man. He's a prankster. What the fuck? Hey, the Jason meter just keeps going off. <laughs> They're all coming, coming into the cabin. Jason's like, well, goddamn. <laughs> Fucking line them up, stacking them deep and selling them cheap. It's over there. Can you please take your grimy, slimy hand off my shoulder? Oh, and you know that Dean or whatever the hell he is uh, has just got, he just had the biggest boner of his life earlier in the film. He's got well, a snail he, trail going down his leg. When he was charging in, he was saying, a man needs to know what's going on. Like, well, you're not much of a man, asshole. He walks the ship right now. He's big, he's a boat guy now. He's a boat man. If you think this is Manhattan, 
Yeah, we're still not in Manhattan. We are almost halfway through the film, and we are not in New York yet. Want my money back. This movie should have been called Jason Goes to a Boat Cabin. He's not, or but to the, to the captain's quarters. Jason takes a boat to a bigger boat, to Vancouver, and then to New York for two minutes. But that title was too long. MPAA, cut it down. Here's a good line. Here's a good line. He's the only guy that realizes it. School's out. We graduated, dipshit. McCullough is still giving all these people on the boat homework assignments, and Julius is like, wait a second. I got my fucking diploma yesterday. <laughs> yeah, fuck this guy. Why did we bring <laughs> him? Why homework? did we bring the teacher? Anybody know? Yeah, why would you why would you bring the teacher to the fucking senior trip? That is in, that's absurd. And why would the teacher this guy, this guy want to volunteer to go? You know, he obviously does not want to be there. There <laughs> was there nobody else on the faculty well, that could have taken his place. The he, guy who he, he pulled a lot the short straw. The guy who was actually going to do it was the psychiatrist in uh, Jason 7, but Bernie Lomax was, you know, murdered uh, ruthlessly in that movie, so he couldn't show up to do it. I forgot, but there's a scene somewhere down here where you can see one of the people uh, that's, like, behind the, behind the camera, like a lighting guy or something. <laughs> he's, the one, he's the only one who escaped being murdered on the boat. <laughs> Ooh, sneaky Jason. He's going to ax her a question, Alex. <laughs> that ax looks like a classic fireman's ax. Well, that's where you keep it, in the engine room of a boat. Oh, Isn't that, that where you keep your ax? Because you want to be able to cut that rope right there. Yeah. What, what is it's a lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. I've told what you the hell? What the hell does McCullough know about boats? So how did he know what it, whether to turn that right or left? A man needs to turn the little metal things. Oh, also, to, to your question you asked earlier, why is he the one who's chaperoning? Well, we've established that he's like 80 years old also. He's <laughs> clearly financially in a very bad uh, position in life. He probably is getting paid an extra sniping. <laughs> right? Yeah. Look, Let's just be real. That? There's that perfect slimy s s square. Hey, j hey, that Even actually wasn't she's vain. Josh. That actually wasn't slime from uh from Jason's hand. That was actually from McCullough's dick from uh, being sexually harassed earlier. <laughs> oh no, Jason's only weakness—a narrow staircase again. <laughs> you know, she was the first victim of Jason's of Asian descent. <laughs> what an honor. <laughs> no, I'm, you would think there would have been in one of the other movies, but no, this is part eight. Okay, so she's tripping balls because she did coke earlier. Yeah, she did the, she did the holly. The holly, the, the generic The holly, molly. jolly, molly. Lottie Dottie, Kelly Hugh likes to potty. Here comes Jason. She was acting real naughty. Wait, Jason was on the dance floor the first time. Why is he? How is he moving around the room so much? He's teleporting or she's tripping balls so much. No. She's still high out of her mind. I picture every time she turns her head, Jason's like, like running over to another spot and acting just fucking with her. <laughs> turns her head and he's like, <laughs> That's why he's breathing like that because he's out of breath. Jeez. Can I have an awesome, cool kill? We're just going to strangle the shit out of you. The bump she takes here is pretty gnarly, and I guess she actually took this bump. Or her stunt person did. No, she did it. I, that's what Kane Hodder said that she took oh, this. Oh, cool. Kick him in the junk, woman. Or do something. Jesus. These are the most submissive murder victims I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, none of them are trying to fight at all. Ooh. Wow. So, wait, was the music in her the whole time? The music was cued to when she hit the ground to stop. Yeah. 
the music was symbolic of her life force. And when that life force was gone, the music was no longer playing because she died. That's this deep, movie's man. very yeah. This movie's very artistic. It's that's deep, man. Hey, I give, never looked at it like that. Yeah, give that shotgun to Jason. He'll miss. I guarantee it. Why does the baddest ass guy in the graduating class have to take the best weapon? Give it to the fucking nerd. <laughs> give the shotgun to the nerd. Well, that nerd's got a gun. A flare gun or something, right? It's like it looks like a rifle. I can't tell. All right, Julius, you can have this sexton that actually tells us the direction of where we need to go on a boat. You can take this axe. You can take shotgun. Okay, or... guys, we 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 got a revolver. <laughs> we got we got some rope. Come on, come on, man. Why is we got a, we got we got a lead pipe? <laughs> Why is he still filming shit when people are trying to kill him? Why is he filming it? He was trying to get on uh, Faces of Death, those VHS tapes back then. Faces of Death, Faces of Death. Oh, the token glasses getting thrown off. He is so fucked. He just got dinkly hard. I was naming off the clue weapons for those who were trying to get home. Hey, so hold on one second. This was actually the setup, the setup for a found footage Jason movie. <laughs> Be, He's been filming that, everything. That would be better than some of the, this movie was. He just, he just shot a classmate. Yeah. He just murdered an innocent man. No, he killed the guy who was going to nail the two girls up on the deck. Oh, no, he killed Dr. Sexy. <laughs> he, what the hell, he, man? He killed, the, he killed the sexiest handyman in it's, Crystal Lake. It's the handyman slash pizza delivery guy from a porno. He's got three tools on that belt, and one of them is right in front of his uh, midsection. Jason's like, you killed Dr. Sexy? Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, this guy can't see shit. It's okay, guy. Just find a really narrow stairway. There you go. Oh, you're golden. Jason hadn't had time to pose JJ yet for him. Now I know why they call those axes, those guitars. Yeah, dude, dude that's axe. not cool. I don't care if she's dead. That is not cool. What? It's Kelly Kapowski. He's like fondling her body. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Another victim that doesn't fight. Dude, his crotch is just lit up. Oh, it's all that sex drive, huh? The director of this movie must have just watched Lost Boys, like, right before he made this movie. Death by stereo. <laughs> you sank my battleship. <laughs> Sean, how come we're not home? How come we're not to New York already? You are the son of a captain, which means nothing. Sean, we are 52 minutes into this movie, and we're not in Manhattan yet. What the fuck? God, he's just laying there burning to death. I mean, he's probably, is he, he's not dead yet. If you would have asked me in the beginning of the movie, I would have said that guy's not hot, but he is hotter than hell. He ended up on Riverdale. He's, he, that guy right there is actually one of the adults on Riverdale now. This is so considerate of Jason. He's going to sound the fire alarm. <laughs> That you know what that is? That's actually the one of the first cell phones that was ever made. <laughs> See, Jason was considering the the ship's on fire. I need to self preserve myself. I don't want to burn to death. They need to come put out the fire so I can kill them. Why did Jason hit the fire alarm? Because I mean, come on. <laughs> hey, shit was getting way too easy for him. Let's be serious. Let's be honest for a second. He wanted to mix things up a little bit. He wanted to let them know he was actually coming this time. Okay. Okay. It gets boring if you're too good. Even Jason's like, we got to speed this along. <laughs> We're not in Manhattan yet. I'm yeah. He's like, the, taking it. he's like, these guys aren't even fighting back at this point. We're not going to make it. I'm going to be the only one to get to Manhattan. This feels like an hour long first act of a movie. You know, that's what this whole boat thing feels like. This is like the length of the opening scene of the Friday the 13th remake. 
Jason never gets a chance to dry off either, man. Poor guy. Oh, After man. all this, he walks all the way on the bottom of the ocean to New York. Oh, come on. You could have taken that, Jason. Well, at least he tried to fight. At least that guy actually tried to fight. And I'm sorry, Kane. I love you, man. You're my favorite, Jason. But this movie blows chunks. <laughs> and I'm the 80s slasher librarian, and I cannot stand this movie. He is a teleporting motherfucker, man. Yeah, that they don't explain that at all. How did he get up there? Is he <laughs> top of the ladder? That would have been perfect. <laughs> he does. He does. He throws him down. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. There you go. No, I mean, if he was above him on the very top, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> I actually am jealous okay. of the guy who just got impaled because he doesn't have to be part of this film anymore. All right. I want to see the scene of how J Jason, like, just going super fast up that ladder behind the guy. <laughs> he, Jason was the kid in gym class that just fucking annihilated rope day. Oh, shit. Jason found the rest of that cocaine earlier. That's why he's moving around so fast. Jason, is he did the coke. Well, Jason actually just wanted to get better reception on his TV. So, you know how, like, when you have bunny ears and you stand next to it, your, your electrical, you know, stuff through the human body actually helps it? He just wanted to actually speed things up, and he threw the guy on the bunny ears. <laughs> He's like, Jesus Christ, I'm trying to watch something on TV. And it's Jesus, just Jesus Christ. Fuzzy. I'm just going to fucking throw this guy on the bunny ears. I want to see the scenes of him, like, Doing the running, like, because he's not teleporting, but it'd be funny to see him running. Okay, now she's hallucinating a slimy kid and having a seizure? So or he's doing a Mongo Donald Trump impersonation? He was a mongoloid again, too. Yeah, he didn't have a normal face this time. Is Jason actually strangling her, or is she imagining both these things? No, Jason's actually strangling her. And apparently the hallucination is watching it happen and not helping. It's it's very rude hallucination. Oh, that pin. Full circle. The pin is mightier than the sword. The pin is mightier than the prosthetic. Hey, Steve, that's Steve Jason's King's like, pin. Jason's like, fuck it, fuck it. I got two eyes. One of them's gone. Fuck it. I'm gone. He didn't even try. Pulled that shit out and left. So do his eyes regenerate? Have we established this? Or... Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, and Jason X, no, but... All right, get ready. This is how half the cast just gets killed off off screen. <laughs> you all wait down here. You're not important enough to get death scenes. Well, there isn't. Uh, there's like three of them. Where, there's like there four was, of them. There's four. There was, yeah, there was like hundreds of them to start the to movie. Is at least how they shot it. Well, there's more going to go down there. Well, oh, they have Michael any... Myers in the house. Where were the cooks? Who was cooking? Are they dead? Also, <laughs> <laughs> we never even saw a cook in the entire first part of this movie. Jason where took him out first. He's on a diet. He did not need the temptation. In the middle of his killing spree. Yeah, he was fucking hangry, son. 57 minutes, Alex. You know that McCullough hasn't eaten yet. He might, he might as well grab one of those rolls. Dude, I'm, now I'm hungry. I ate a whole smoked turkey over the weekend. Oh, good for you. Living the good life. I'm kidding. I didn't eat the whole thing. Just the white meat. Dark meat is is where it's at. You, do you not like dark meat? How sweet. Dark meat. No, oh, the yeah. person I take care of likes the dark meat. Somebody brought us a big old turkey for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's Sean. right. If you're watching this sometime way after we uploaded it, this is the Thanksgiving kind of, kind of the <laughs> Thanksgiving episode. So hold on one second. So In Sean... Sean dove in to save her earlier, right? Into the ocean. Why in this this time has he not changed those clothes? He's still walking around soaking wet. He's galled as hell with wearing those jeans, man, if they were wet earlier. Yeah. You know he's got rashes all over the inside of his thighs. Good lord. His, his thighs look like a freaking paint by numbers at this point. And that water didn't even knock before it just bu burst it in, man. That is so there's a lot of rude elements in this movie. 
Yeah, it didn't even call first. What a dick. Didn't poke its head in like Jason does. Look around. Okay. What an Okay, you got hit by water. Why are you in such bad shape? Or Chuck, or Jeremy, or anybody. He doesn't sound authoritative right here. He just sound, He also sounds like pissy. Okay, I put the rest of the cast in that room where they're going to die. So that takes care of the rest of the movie. We don't have to follow a lot of people around. We're good. Let's see, you, you, and you. And let's get that boxer. He should be in the rest of the movie. <laughs> let's, go get, let's go get that dynamic character who actually has screen presence. Okay, he's still got his knife. Jason didn't do a very good job on this guy. Welcome to John Adams High. This is where you're gonna die. Here's a knife. Here's a gun. We'll have fun for everyone. That's the Boy Meets World uh, Scream episode where Mr. Feeney walks in and falls down and has a knife in his back. Jennifer Love Hewitt is in that episode. Jennifer Love uh, Hoff and Pepper or something. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they, they lowered that lifeboat. Jason's like, oh, you gonna think you're going to leave me, motherfuckers? Oh. They've, they've got one fucking lifeboat for the entire cruise ship. But teacher and uncle guy, what about the other 12 people that you told to wait in the dance room? Fuck them, they're just extras. Exactly, they don't know they're dead yet. She said wait for, yeah, she just put them in there and said wait down there. Yeah, she wait wait here for Jason to come and murder your ass. I'm gonna go find a bus. I think they assume the fire killed him or the flood killed him. That's, oh, that's that's all I can think of. Hey, that is some top notch grade A chaperoning. You're not going nowhere, buddy. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? Forget the eight people, the human lives. They got the dog, so it's all good. I'm, I'm oh, convinced. don't even act like you're out of breath. You literally just dove out of the water with so much speed. <laughs> he would die of hypothermia. There's no way you would survive the boat trip. No way. Especially if it's pissing like that. Come on, man. So, yes, if anybody's wondering, Jason is walking on the floor of the ocean from the Lazarus to New York City. <laughs> he's not swimming. He's walking. No, he's doing the Super Mario Brothers 3 boat thing, boat trick, on one of the, the, the bosses. He's swimming <laughs> under the boat the entire time. He's hitting A repeatedly. Boom, 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 boom. But yeah, that explosion killed the, all those people in the dance room, by the way. They're, they're dead. Either that never, or, or they just got left behind. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> I never thought, I never thought about that angle until you just said that. Like, she told them to just wait. I'll be back. And, yeah, I'll be back. She just it's like, led them gets, to their death. Oh, she gets on the lifeboat. <laughs> I tell those fuckers that we're going to come back for them, but there's no room for them on this boat. Let's yeah. go, motherfuckers. She's like, I got my favorite student anyway. I got ready. I don't need anybody else. Fuck off. This is no time to play video games, man. Put that Game Boy away. That's not a Game Boy. That's a freaking uh, one of those shitty ass... Uh, you know what I'm talking tiger, about, like tiger, tiger and electric games, like the ones where it looked like Mr. Game and Watch. Well, an hour and three minutes, buddy. <laughs> Not that you're keeping track. Not that I'm keeping track or anything. Can't believe. See that karma, man. You you forced him to make me watch this, and now you're in the doghouse. So he hey, didn't force him to do anything. He makes his. You own. told He's him. Best. You yeah. openly told him in a game of Truth or Dare that I hate this movie. Okay, well, why did y'all not throw that guy off the boat while he was asleep? Uh, how come the dog doesn't have a life preserver on his little neck? Yeah, fuckers. Yeah, what a son of a bitch. Put a life preserver on that pooch. See, they have a standard adult one, and there's a standard canine one. Hey, we know we're in New York because that matches the necklace that was given to her an hour and three minutes ago. We're either in New York or Las Vegas has been flooded. If I had never read the Freddy vs. Jason book, it, before I read it for the channel, 
I always wondered how the hell they got from Crystal Lake to New York. <laughs> you know, how they got the ocean. Yeah, uh, there's so many holes. I mean, in the, the the continuity of the Friday the 13th series was pretty good until about 7. I, and then I just shit like the got picture. off the rails. I gotta say, man, I, I just, I'm enjoying picturing Jason walking on the bottom of the ocean the whole way there. Just right underneath the boat. Well, that's crazy that he 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 wanted to kill these guys so badly that he was able to do that because as Ronnie you, you know, told us in Freddy versus Jason, you know, Jason hates water. Oh yeah, that's terrified. His, yeah. At least at least Freddy versus Jason book explains only in his dreams. See, man, he wasn't swimming. He just came up from the bottom. That fucker walked to New York on the bottom of the He probably killed a couple sharks on the way. <laughs> this is um this is one of the first Jason movies where he like if you're at Crystal Lake, it's his area. He's going to kill you. He ventures outside of his... He's chasing them. He is literally going after them. But they don't explain why. Yeah, and he doesn't want to kill nobody else, just them. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, they wrecked his boat. They wrecked his boat. And they left... It. They didn't let him on the lifeboat. They, they were going to leave him behind like the other people. And he's like, fuck that. You know what? I thought we were close. You're going to die now. I and he we followed were him. He's like, I just, I didn't want to kill you. I just want to cut you a little bit. I killed all your enemies for you. Nobody was talking. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> was <anything>. talking. <laughs> Alex, shut up. <laughs> they don't, hey, they don't even know what, who's talking or not talking. They are loaded on heroin right now. <laughs> They're right. all over the place. Oh, yeah, we saw them doing that. Like an hour ago. <laughs> hey, that guy is a dollar store version of the guy in Creepshow 2 in Chief yes. Woodenhead. Yes. Look at him. He's like, oh, look at that. A souvenir Statue of Liberty gold-plated necklace. I'm taking you and that gold-plated Statue of Liberty necklace to Hollywood, fat stuff. You've been to Crystal Lake Gas and Sip, haven't you? <laughs> Better not shoot a <clears throat> dog, you son of a bitch. Shut up! Shut up! I'm not talking. Shut up! Man, these guys are, like, specifically written for us to want them to die. <laughs> We're rooting for Jason at this point with those guys. What all, this guy's like this fucking stereotype crook. And they're talking like Caprinde and all that in a single. He's like, all and the other guy saying that was all talking all proper and everything. Why is Julius okay? Julius was doing nothing when they had the guns on him. Now Julius wants to chase them while they still have the guns. I'm not understanding what he's going to do differently. Yes, you go that way, and we'll all three go the other way. Uh, that's a good plan. We need to split up while my niece is being raped viciously by two crackheads in the in the that alleyway. Aren't, that aren't me. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. Okay, he's more worried about the, the dime store necklace he gave her than her, the, the actual she, human person that's going to be raped. How could she leave this behind whenever she was taken at gunpoint? Yeah, I, what a what an insensitive bitch. And her uncle's thinking, I was saving herself for me. Oh, God. Yeah, it got dark <laughs> quick. <laughs> Jesus. Uh-oh. It's it's the it's the dream heroine from uh, Dream Warriors. That just looks disgusting. This is Surge, baby. Those guys live in the alleyway shooting heroin all day. They oh, probably smell as bad as Jason does. That's Surge, man. No, that looks more like Citra. This is too. Uh, you mean Squirt? <laughs> Thirty-five cent Squirt is Citra. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. I don't know how to do this, so do I? Hey, Josh, did I ever tell you the story about when I was in high school and I was very poor, and they had a Surge and Citra machine that you could get a 35-cent can of Surge or Citra, and <laughs> I, didn't ha I didn't have a lot of money, so I had exactly 35 cents to get my soda for lunch. A squirt? I put the th uh, uh, yeah, whatever it was. So I put my 35 cents in. I don't get a soda. I got a plastic tube that was in the shape of a soda with a Surge t-shirt in it. <laughs> oh, wow. I was like, God damn it. I can't drink this shit. Jason doesn't want to 
kill him quick. He just wants to give him hepatitis C. Kill oh, him man. slowly. <laughs> oh, hell. You little prick. You're going to pay her. You're I don't know if animals. a little Band-Aid would be able to cover that shot. <laughs> That's like the only other people he kills, I think, besides the, besides the main people. He throws Ken Kinzinger on the <clears throat> car. He kills Julius. He kills... throws Ken Krasinger against the wall, but it don't kill him. He kills quite a few more people. New Yorkers? I don't think so. Yes, he does. No, he kills people from the boat. He kills no, I know. People. I know. I'm, I'm talking about he doesn't kill that many New Yorkers besides these two guys. He doesn't kill any New Yorkers. These people are working for Vancouver film. Yeah, this is in Vancouver. Those guys were on the boat the whole time. That guy's fine. But it was a dirty needle, so he's going to slowly die of hepatitis C or AIDS or something. So Jason it, got him. In the, end. The, the guy who just got his head bashed into the pipe probably didn't actually die. He probably just got the worst case of CTE of all time. He'll slowly die a debilitating brain uh, disease years and years later. So Jason ultimately did get him. Playing that slow game that long yeah. time. Well, you got to do different stuff. You know, you can't... He, he's so bored with how good he is at killing that he's got to change things up. I love it in movies. Sheriff's Department? Operator? You know, it's like, it's like if I call you and go, Alex? Nobody <laughs> ever does that. <laughs> Police Department? Yes, this is so-and-so. I mean, <laughs> who does that when they call somebody? Operator? Jason's no, this is... Johnny Depp on the set of a movie. What the hell? Jason's like the guy in Dumb and Dumber. He's like, have you ever heard of consideration of other people for the phone? Other people being me? Your phone's ringing, Alex. Ring, ring. Hello? Alex? Alex? <laughs> Operator? Uh, this part makes no sense. He's, he's going to punch him repeatedly in the mask. Great mask. Makes no sense. I don't think Jason was expecting that first one, was he? To actually connect like that? To knock his head back? Jason, well, okay, Jason can take gunshots to the chest and stomach from an actual revolver and barely move. But Julius has such thunder in his fist that he can move him every punch. Jason's actually just leading him to the, to the edge. Well, Not I mean, because he wants him to fall. It's just he wants to. He wants to see the guy's head go into a uh, dumpster. Even if oh, Julie, watch the head flip, dude. If you watch closely, you'll see that it's uh, styrofoam on the neck, the okay. bottom of the neck. It's flat styrofoam. Pay attention. Really, even if really look at it. Even if Julius does knock him off the edge, what does it matter? He'll just teleport his ass right back on the rooftop. Julius, this is why you should have been doing more cardio and less lifting, right here. Yeah. Yeah, Julius, you, you fucked up in your in your in your technique here, bud. The penguin would not have trained you to box like this. Wasn't that Rocky's trainer, the penguin from the old Batman show? Burgess Meredith, yes. Yeah. <laughs> wah wah wah. <laughs> He's got a Rocky, cigarette. Rocky, get him. Wah wah. Well, we made it. Okay, so Jason, I. Here we go. Watch, watch the neck. Watch the neck, folks. As it's flipping in the air on its way to the dumpster, you'll see it. It's just a flat. You see it? Yep. You see the bottom of it? It's just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just rubber. Hey, and at this point, Julius isn't dead yet because everybody knows human, he human bodies, like, he's still alive for another, like, 12 seconds. Yeah, it's, you ever seen a Julius run around with his head cut off? It's... Crazy. He actually lived. He was in the Guinness Book of World Records. His body lived for like three or four years like that chicken did. They just fed him through a tube in his neck. I heard about that chicken. That blows my mind. Yeah. And he was actually still able to do his boxing uh, training and everything. Damn, that heroin is not going good with that Holly Molly cocaine. No, she's so crazy that she didn't actually have heroin. That's just what she's like daily. Oh, okay. That's why she keeps hallucinating little yeah. boys. Yeah, that's why she keeps losing her fucking mind every With scene. inconsistent facial features. <laughs> they hired nine different makeup uh, artists for this film. 
who all had very nine very distinct different visions for the character. Shoot oh, thank God. Fight. Thank God he found Barney Five. Thank wait, God. wait. So, did he just give a command to that police officer? <laughs> um, yes, because that guy still owes him a homework assignment. That police officer still owes him his project. I wonder if the police officer's got the, his anatomy drawn underneath <laughs> his police uniform there. <laughs> he still owes here. McCulloch a project <laughs> from ten years ago. Mr. Teacher, come here. I want to show you where my pancreas is. <laughs> Is it Still true? Did, did you lose that gold-plated necklace? Eight six seven three six one four. Yeah, everybody knows that license plates only have like five straight numbers. So this is a cop in Manhattan. Quit bossing but he doesn't... the cop around. Hey, so this is a cop in Manhattan, but he doesn't have a partner or backup. Nope. Well, he's never going to get ahead, right? So Jason took the time to go back in the dumpster and place the head in the cop car. Great, that's the third. Yeah, he did. He's he's all about posing. That's the third New Yorker to die. Okay. Guys, guys, you know what you got to do? You got to head out. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Rennie kills her favorite teacher in this scene. Kills her. Ken Kersinger. That is not Kane Hodder. Not Kane Hodder right there. That That's right the there, folks, is why Kane Hodder was not Jason in Freddy vs. Jason. That stunt is what cost him the movie. Jason, okay, looking... wait, wait, what? He looks completely different now. Again. Wait. She just, she just killed her teacher right there. She swerved to not hit... She, she ran through Jason, the... the the killer, but she didn't even attempt to swerve when she saw a kid in front of her. Well, if that cop hadn't been fucking drugged into the alleyway and murdered, Rennie would get, be getting a DUI because she's absolutely loaded on crank right now when she's driving. And why did Sean let the chick loaded on heroin drive? Why didn't he say, no, I'll drive. Move. <laughs> well, and her favorite teacher just died a terrible death in that car wreck. She just exploded. Yep. Just killed her. You did that, Rennie. You, Jason didn't kill her. You did that. And you are an awful person. That was like the tenth makeup artist for the for the boy Jason. <laughs> yeah, he just like, like slowly changed throughout the whole movie. Oh man, it's like that. Uh, the the uh, the Imaginorium of Doctor McGor, whatever. Uh, Heath Ledger's last movie, like he died, and they had yeah. like nine different actors <laughs> finish his part. It's like <laughs> it's the same the same you know thing they did there. She's so nuts, her hallucinations and, and delusions are not even consistent. Oh, I remember that day on the fiery lake. This is where it all started. My theory here is he tells her the Jason story, throws her into the lake, and it's the real Jason from part seven at the bottom trying to pull her down. Mm -hmm. But she's hallucinating the boy Jason. Because remember, Jason's been under the water for eight years. So the timeline would be about, this would be right after the events of Part 7 right here. So he might not be dead yet, or, you know, not, like, pinned or whatever, I don't know. Listen, Josh, I'm, I'm very interested in your little side story right there, but I'm more interested in the fact that Charles is wearing the shit out of that cardigan. Well, yeah, it's a throwback to Pamela Voorhees, man. You don't, you don't see that? that? No, that, he is wearing that like a, just a boss. That sweater is a throwback to Pamela, though, <laughs> from the first movie. Yes, he is. I am your father, uncle, something, and I'm going to try to murder you now. Okay, I'm your father. <laughs> I'm your father, uncle, teacher, professor, chaperone, or something. Die, little girl. <laughs> Die. <laughs> you can't swim. Friday the 13th, part 8. Charles McCulloch versus Rennie. Everybody knows this is how you teach children to swim, right? You just go to the deep end of a lake and yeah, toss I used, them in. Hey, I had three kids, took them all out, teach them how to swim. 
two of them learned how to swim real good. I got two two good kids now. Everything's good, man. This I've is how two. you teach your kids to swim. I, I, you listen, I took all three kids out there to learn how to swim. Now I have two swimmers. Yep. Two kids total now. And, they and they're great swim swimmers. Like champs. They can swim their asses off. <laughs> Jesus, that, this is so dark tonight with our jokes. I know. Jeez, you started it, though. <laughs> He was going to be like, God, the 80 slash librarian killed one of his kids. <laughs> and Alex laughed about it. Uh, he loved it. Alex was talking about heroin and <laughs> crank and a bunch of other stuff. He's like, I know. I just saw your hallucination in that puddle, and I knew you were going to ask these questions. We all saw it. So did, she, did that actually happen? Because That actually still... happened. That's how he taught her to swim. Yeah, but she's still high, and she's now she's got major trauma because she just murdered her favorite teacher. Finally. We don't even know why you came on the boat. We graduated, dude. You're just creepy. Did he just give an all, an all shucks thing right there? Oh, uh, shucks. They, got, they left. Oh, shucks. He hit, what would be even better is if he hit his hand into it, like, dang it. You're not real. I uh, told them you're not real, so you're not real. How does he know it's Jason? He says, yeah, it could just be a New Yorker. How does he know what he looks like? I guess the hockey mask with the axe slot in it from part three. He's or got he the box set. He must have seen the newspaper clipping from part five. You're not Jason. You're not, you're, you're not Kane Hodder. <laughs> okay, teleporting Jason is just getting ridiculous. It's yeah, just- that's that's absurd. It's just ridiculous, people. I'm sorry. Unless I, I would love to see from Jason's perspective when he's just running as fast as he can to get to these spots, like pulling the whole uh, Aladdin thing. Remember Aladdin in the cartoon, all the crazy jumps and shit he did. Yes, that's what Jason does when nobody sees him. One jump ahead of Jason Voorhees. Two jumps ahead of Rennie. Yes, the- the barrel got to drown this professor in this barrel of sludge. God, that stuff looks like you're my only uh, friend, Pamela. That looks like urine and gack, and maybe a little bit of phloem mixed in. Did you say gack? Gack, urine, and phloem. Guts. Why is that shit so hot? Why was that can of sludge steaming? <laughs> That's where everybody pees, man, in Vancouver, uh, New York. Oh, man. The, 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 the graffiti. Van, welcome to Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a great place to sit down and, and take a load off. Do you need some more heroin, honey? Uh, I know where we can score some. Are you coming down? You're coming down, aren't you? Man, she's having second thoughts. This is the worst senior trip of all time. I know you're messed up, and that's probably why you forgot that you owe me 50 bucks. But, you know, I know it's bad timing, but you really did tell me you'd give me $50. She's like, I know I'm extremely high. Is it just me being high, or are your sideburns really uh, styled that high? Are they? Did you really cut them that high? It seems like everybody I care about gets killed because of stuff I do. <laughs> uh, honey, it's because they do. You, you, you killed. You killed quite a few people in this film. Oh, what a great time to have your first kiss. He's got to go for it while she's fucked up, man. He's got to have every advantage he can get. She's By also the way, a terrible dog mom. Where's her dog? An hour and 22 minutes into the movie, and we've only seen the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> That's it. It's oh, no. We, alleys. we saw the shot of Batman in Times Square. Well, that was at the very beginning. <laughs> oh, never mind. Ooh, never did mind. you see the question mark, man? We're in Gotham City, the Riddlers. That's the Riddler's Alley. <laughs> <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Riddle me this, Batman. What movie takes place on a boat? Goes to Canada, but is based in New York City. What does Jason have against using door handle? This is the scene. It wasn't a bat. It wasn't a blue. Oh yeah, there's there was a scene with Jason coming down. I think we're about to see it. Or okay. it was a deleted scene. This scene is ridiculous. Yeah, he there... he teleported onto the bus. Well, that and the fact that there's hundreds of people on this. Wait, subway. we're in central. We're in Central City because there's the Flash's logo. We are in a DC movie, man. DC all the way. 
We know Jason didn't open the door or go through the actual motion sensor door. We know some pane of glass to get on. I would that. love to see Jason takes Manhattan from Jason's point of view, running and jumping. Somebody make that fan film, please. It's New York, woman. Don't act surprised. They got a <laughs> real, real bad cleanup problem here. Sorry, man. I'm taking a nap over here, man. Well, my life sucks enough as it is. I'm on a fucking subway right now. Oh, Jason busted his ass. He's not happy. Shit, I... I... There's freaking the drummer for Guns N' Roses in the left corner, Steven Adler, apparently. That took some guts, man. That a boy, Sean. That was that was a shocking twist, man. Well, little does he know that Jason is actually charging up right now. Jason loves electricity. He's fucking Godzilla from Godzilla vs. King Kong, that old black and white one. Jason's almost to 100% power right now. Yeah, his life meter just got refilled. Yeah, yeah thank you. Way to go, Sean, you fucking idiot. Yeah, just stay there. You finally got him incapacitated, but yeah, just just stick around a while. Don't don't go and celebrate your victory. Just stay there. All right, teleport, Jason. Go. Do yeah, your Jason's thing. fine. This is just taking a little siesta. By the way, there's no there's no stairs there. They just were crouched down and did the fake walking up the stairs thing for that scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, they did not. It's it's behind the scenes. There's no stairs where they just came out. Are you being serious? I'm dead serious. Dead, no joke. You can watch the behind the scenes thing. I would like kill. Just crouched down doing the walk thing. Dude, I would kill for some 1989 McDonald's right now. Uh, 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 um, the year 2000 McDonald's. <laughs> well, at least Dude, we I, get to I play Monopoly. Kill, I would kill for a double quarter pounder with cheese before they started doing the fresh shit they did a couple years ago. Oh, God, I love those. You know what I liked? I liked the McChickens before, like, 1995. They were, because they used beef tallow to fry their stuff in. Like the chicken nuggets used to have, like, the brown meat in the middle. You know, oh. it was like white meat and brown meat. Those were so mm -hmm. good, but so fake. Yeah, I wanted great F meat. Uh, give, me, give me zebra meat and filler, when, please. All, they, when they switched to fresh meat, they, their burgers just taste like Wendy's now. All right, here we go. They're finally in New York. And we're only an hour and a half into an hour and 35 minute movie. God, his shoulder is disgusting. Does he have barnacles growing on his arm? <laughs> the original title of this movie, Jason Takes Forever. You know what this movie should be called? Jason Takes a Shower, because he is disgusting right now. There's another guy that looks just like Jason. What are the chances? God, can you imagine being in charge of wardrobe for this film? It's like you have to spray his outfit down every time he's on film. These guys just been sitting there for like the whole events of this movie, not moving at all. And Jason will kill. What does Jason have against early 90s rap? He's, he's, he likes country music. This makes no, this is not funny. They got, they were trying to be funny here. <clears throat> Because <laughs> he showed them their face and they got scared. Wait a second. So that plate she just put a cigarette in, uh, out in, had like two full legs, like a bunch of toast, potatoes. Like who, who ordered that and didn't eat anything? I swear it looks like Nikki from Orange is the New Black, but she would have been a kid back then. You know the actress I'm talking about? Uh, yes, Jason, I've seen. Use yes. a door handle, man. I've seen oh, every Lord. episode of Orange is the New Black. And there's the guy that stole the part from J uh, Kane Hodder for Freddy vs. Jason right there. Yeah, you are a son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah Kane Hodder should have kicked his ass for real right here. I would love that. Whip his ass, Kane. I can watch that scene over and over again. It makes me feel better about Kane not getting the part. Just seeing him throw him against that mirror. 
Well, you know, Kane or Ken Kuzinger <clears throat> is like what six six, six five, something like that. Yeah. G- Kane Hodder didn't look that much smaller than He's, Ken. He- I know. They could have given him lifts in his boots, man. He was the Jason, but maybe one day we'll have to watch that shitter. You know, the movie the movie that uh, they, Kane Hodder and Robert England showed up in together on screen for the first time was freaking Hatchet. Yeah, Hatchet. It's, and I, when I watched that, I'm like, this sucks. Oh I my god, Rennie, we ran forever. out of a New York cafe and now we're in an alley in Vancouver, Canada. What the fuck is going on here? You know what? I think at this point, I'd just I'd be like, you know what? You got me. I'm done. I I gave it my all. You know what game Jason would be really good at when we were kids? Hide Ooh, and go bed seek. Bugs. Hide and go seek. Oh, I thought you were gonna say night crawlers. No, he'd be like excellent. Charlie and Frank play on Always Sunny. He'd be good at what? Hide and go seek. This is Jason takes dairy. He just, yeah, here we go. Because you know in New York they really flood their uh, sewers with uh, toxic sludge every night. Everybody it's, it's, knows that. Uh, uh, yeah. The Ninja Turtles, they were down there for one day. They're gone. <laughs> gone. Well, the Foot Clan, uh, when they got, <laughs> when they originally found, you know, chased uh, April down there, the, uh, half their, their group was killed because they went when it was flooded. So Jason's teleportation powers don't work underground. Okay. The further he gets away from Crystal Lake, the more his powers are weakened. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. He did take a shortcut, though. Here's the one maintenance worker in the entire town. Oh, hey, Josh, he kills this guy, too, also. Yeah, <laughs> this... yeah. That's, number... That's four New Yorkers. Don't you know that? Midnight, exactly midnight. Not eleven fifty nine, not twelve oh one. The period of time between eleven, between twelve and twelve oh one, where that's the only time you can feed a mogwai. God, you know how hungry they must be. They haven't eaten this entire trip. I so know. I know there was no cooks on the goddamn boat. Yeah, they never, they never brought cooks. They brought two chaperones. Dude, why didn't you just show that guy your face? He would have ran. What are you shocked for? Why does she look shocked that Jason just killed that guy? Yeah, that's pretty much par for the course at this point. I would have been shocked if he hugged the guy. Well, J- Ooh, Josh. His only weakness. Flat Josh, bites. she was actually uh, shocked that she wasn't the one who got to get the kill. Because she's killed as many people in this film as he has. Uh, yeah. I didn't cause his death. Or He's maybe- mine! Mine! Damn it, Jason! She's mine. Uh, maybe she was hallucinating Jason holding up a little Jason and hitting him with it. Jason versus Rennie. Just teleport, man. Use your shift ability. I love how shining a flashlight on him is enough to make him stop killing someone. <laughs> Fire bad. <laughs> And there, there's just a a little a little bucket of toxic sludge setting in the, in a in a little corner. This is Jason. All right, guys, this is what my picture behind me is. Uh, Muppet Jason, right there. This might be the first time you actually hear Jason uh, verbally say or do anything until part nine, when he gets blown up and getting shot, and he's like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh! Get up, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, do the always sunny thing. Just take off all your clothes and hold them above your head until the sewage passes. Stop it, Jason. Jason is like a boxer. Who is like getting getting up for the fifteenth round? Punch out! You know you're hoping they're going to fall back down before they count. Uh, it's hard for me not to have respect for him at this point. Why was there just a bucket, like a bucket of sludge, sitting in a corner? You know, a bucket of toxic, a bucket of toxic waste. 
I have no idea. And why I don't know why there was only one maintenance guy down there in the entire city sewer system of New York. Was that his uh, his backup supply? <laughs> It'd be funny if Jason was like trying to throw him off and trying to climb up at the this is ridiculous. Where where's the water coming from? From it's his mouth. Oh, that is Don't let me drown. He was he walked under the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean for hours. I know. I know. One of the reasons I hate this movie. <laughs> By the way, I think he got washed back out to the ocean, found his mask floating, shoved it back on his face, it melted the face, that right there. Because I think she's hallucinating some of this. Here we go. Another version of Jason as a child. See, I think he's actually getting washed out right there. Washed out to the ocean. He didn't really fall apart. Shoved his mask back on his face. It melded with him. And she's just hallucinating kid Jason. Hey, I'm a, I'm a freaking dirty motherfucker, but if there's a baby Jason down there, I am going to club him in the head as many times as I can. And maybe saw his head off. What are you looking at, Rennie? And why does that why does your hallucination all of a sudden have hair again in the normal face? And why does that toxic sludge look like clear water? See, that mask kind of looks like what the mask in Jason Goes to Hell looks like. All melted and shit. Just so beat I to think, hell. <clears throat> I think Jason got washed out to the ocean, the mask did, and he just shoved it on his melting face, and it like formed with it, and his head's all fucked up from the toxic sludge. Mm -hmm. Had to get some new... And he had to get some new clothes uh, since the other one's melted. That's why he looks like, like he does in part nine. Because he regenerates, you know? But uh, I don't know why he didn't just teleport out of the sewers, man. Why, did, why didn't he teleport? Why didn't he just teleport his ass back to Crystal Lake? He's got no business in Vancouver. Oh, man. <laughs> Vancouver. Oh, the, point, the, the, the moral of the story is no matter what happens, you can always get your gold-plated souvenir necklace back. At the end. Jason! I mean a dog. Aww. Toby's a good boy. Named Toby, after, you're a good boy, Toby. Named after Toby Hooper, by the way. Toby uh, probably was the best actor in the entire film. Dude, the best part of the movie is coming up. Hold on a second. We can't miss this. Best part, guys. Get ready for it. Wait for it. Wait for it, man. Best part's coming right now. If you blink, you'll miss it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Times Square. Oh, we were in New York. See, we didn't lie. Be oh, the best part of the movie right there. What? The credits. Oh, God. Oh, man. Love hey, this hey, part. The best. Uh, actually, I take it back. The dog wasn't the best. I think my favorite character in this film was Julius. The guy who played Julius. Mm-hmm. He's my favorite character. Yeah, he was the uh, VIP of it. The MVP, yeah. whatever. Um, he's a little punch dumb, but, you know, it is it is what it is. Is this the first Jason movie where they had, like, a, like a rock song that like they a rock opened? ballad? Yeah, they, like, <laughs> opened and closed the movie with this same song. I mean, part six had Alice Cooper. This has generic late 80s rock ballad guy well yeah, this it could is have been vince laxton or grace rourke for all we know well this is the year 2000 right oh, so shit. why yeah it could be nickelback why isn't it like lfo or like backstreet boys or like o Town? Degrees. yeah 98 degrees or five or or bb mac three dudes and another dude i mean oh matthew hey. Co uh, cook yeah I'm there's sorry, the cook that was the cook that was the cook that was on the ship yep Hey, Jim Stunt. Duggan. I mean, Jim Dunn. Stunt coordinator, Ken motherfucking Kazinger. Oh, fuck you. Fuck him. Dog trainer, Deborah Coe. He did a hell of a job. She Toby did. was a great dog. That's a lot of drivers. Oh, there was no catering. Don't you lie. 
the special catering effects. How many different special effects people were there for that kid? Hey, the catering was just the bags of rolls that were like on the on the line in the in the kitchen. Right. That was the catering. Uh, it'd be funny if it said uh, makeup artist team one, makeup artist team two. You know, for all the different versions of uh, little little Jason. Man, Ed what? Newens Jr. He's actually does a better job than Ed Newen Sr., I think. Yeah, yeah. The, the third, though, is really picking up where his uh, dad <laughs> he, left off. Yeah, he picked up the mantle. He did. He sure did. Uh, Republican Sound Studios. Oh, Republic Sound Studios. Gotcha. I thought they were going to, like, sit here and try to tell us the movie wasn't over. And I'm like, the movie's... I'm going to say, the movie's Stambler. definitely over. Who? B.L. Stambler. Ah. Uh. Bob Raring was the color timer. Bob Raring and ready to go. <laughs> Lim Rifsu. What's what the hell kind of name is that? That's a name of someone that created or designed a Nintendo game. Whenever you beat Mario Brothers, Fred Fox. Don Wakamatsu. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Eight. Jason takes Manhattan. We did lie to you. Uh, our bad. You know, you would have done the same thing in our situation. It is what it is. Look at all the Vancouver shooting areas right there. Yeah, British Columbia is all over the place. Ooh, ultra stereo. It's better than mega stereo. Hey, they actually had some Jason Takes Manhattan news recently. They just released this soundtrack, like, literally, like, two weeks ago on an LP. Really? Yes, they just re-released it. Wow. I saw it on my Twitter. The events and characters of this film are fictitious and are not what we intended to show you originally, but our budget sucked ass, but we still chose to keep the title anyways. So, thanks for your ticket money, and fuck you! <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's a Jason movie, so I like it, but God, I hate this movie. Uh, I like it, but I hate it. Is that, is that okay? Say it, with your, say it with your chest. Tell me how you actually feel about this film. I, God, I fucking like this movie a little bit because it can't hotter. But uh, Julius, yeah. Julius Shitter. is good. Julius is good. Kane hotter is anything Kane hotter does is fine. And uh, Rennie's hot. That's all I can say. That's it. And Toby is a hell of a dog. Good, he's a good dog. Toby's a good boy. <laughs> Toby's a, a good, good dog. He's a good boy. He, a good boy. he did the best he could in this pile of shit, didn't you, Toby? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You got to go to Vancouver, and you got to go on a boat. Yes, you did. And you got to go to New York for a minute. And he kept his bandana um, the entire film. So, that's so hey. cute. Sad thing is, you know, that he's dead now. Because dogs don't live very long. I see where you're going with that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, that was the year 2000, so... Yeah, yeah Toby would be 20 now. Like, Toby was probably two then, 22-year-old dog. I don't know. The timeline is so jaded for the for the Friday the 13th films. Because, like, part four w took place the year that it had... Or, sorry. Part two, three, and four took place over a three-day period, okay? So, that set us back a couple years from when, the, when part four actually came out. It was actually came out. The story took place like three years before that, but then part five happened, and it takes place like four or five years after part four. Yeah. And then part five, part six comes out, and it's even you know further up there, like another five years. Then part seven, and then part eight is like an eight year jump. So we're like at the year two thousand. It's so. Oh, it's so confusing, and Jason can teleport. This is where that comes from, you know, the teleporting Jason jokes or whatever. Uh, in in the New Blood, it doesn't even say Friday the 13th. It just says October the 13th on the calendar in Tina's house. Yeah. So who knows when that's supposed to be? I have no, I have no fucking idea. Well, man, we made it through it. You made me have to watch this. So, one of these days, I'm going to really put in a good word to get Ghoulies 4 uh, coming out. And if I were you, <clears throat> I'd get your chapstick out. Because you're going to really need to get those lips all ready to <laughs> kiss his ass. Because when he calls in a minute, you're going to have to do whatever you can to get back on his good side. But if you don't, that's all right with me, too. So, uh, oh! and there it goes. It's ringing. Here we go. I'm going to answer it. Hello? 
Well, I see this movie wasn't enough to break your spirit, Alex. You mean Alex? You mean Josh, right? This was the movie I told you that Josh hated when we had our sleepover and we were playing Truth or Dare, right? You remember that? Yeah, sure, both of you. I see it didn't break both of your spirits. But that's okay. I have more planned. More? Wait, wait a second. My internet just, you were like really choppy and like broken down right there. My internet looks like it's slowed down by like 75%. And on top of that, it feels like 40 to 50 degrees cooler in my, in my room right now. What the hell is going on? Oh, maybe something happened to your heat. Oh. Oh, shit. I just got your email with the list of what's coming in the care package. Get this. Prime ribs, cocoa pebbles, a full list of groceries, and a bed being delivered, and it says key at the bottom. Uh, what's a key to what, exactly? You shall see. Okay. Wow. Really, guys? You guys, really? You're playing this game with me? I didn't even do anything wrong. It's not like I waited till Master Evil or Alan, Master Evil, whoever the hell, went to bed. Then I snuck into the living room to watch Fifty Shades of Grey with Mrs. Evil. It's not like I did that. And it's not like I made out with her for 30 minutes. That sounds very specific. Did you do that? No! Why are you saying it like that? Hey, Ma! Come here! Yes, dear? Have you seen Fifty Shades of Grey recently? No! You both are hiding something. Ma, how could you? Good night, Pumpkin. Fine, good night, Ma. Oh, I was talking to Alex. Well, good night to you too, son. Uh, good night, good night. Don't you dare finish that sentence. You know what Julie's for! Right now. Wait, 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 wait. Um, um, uh, Master, uh, Alan, you're having a knee-jerk reaction, okay? I'm not okay with this. I'm not good with this, as, as Alex used to say. So, think about it. Wouldn't you rather save that for a time when you can really just break our spirits with it, you know? I mean, just look at it as delayed torture. You can hang it over his, you can hang it over our heads. Yeah, what, what he said. Hmm. Well, I like delayed torture. Okay, then. In that case, next time you two will be watching Dr. Giggles. <laughs> and Josh, enjoy your care package. The rodeo clown was signed for it before he moves into his new home. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> what the hell does that mean, the rodeo clown's new home? What does that mean? Okay, hey, okie dokie. Uh, have a good night, Alan. Okay, I, I get it. I get the big joke, okay? I've learned my lesson. You can turn my heat back on. You can turn my internet level back up. It's really slow. I can barely hear my punishment that you're dishing out to me. Uh, tell the rodeo clown he can stay the fuck put, okay? <laughs> tell him to stay wherever he is. He doesn't need to forward his mail anywhere, okay? You guys got me. Great one. You got one on old Alex. Go. If not for Josh's case against it, you would be watching Ghoulies Fall right now oh, and God. truly paying for your insolence. Things are about to get even rougher for you, Alex. Sleep well while you can. Oh, and Josh, hmm? I'll get you the deets on that pay-per-view soon. Ta-ta, prisoners! Man, it is so obvious.
obvious what he is up to. So obvious. I mean, he's just trying to play us against each other, you know, make me the golden boy and make you jealous to make you show you're a true friend. I'm not stupid, man. Okay. He's not, yeah. Thanks, man. I, you, you explained yourself enough. I knew you'd have my back, though. I knew it. I knew you would. I appreciate that. You saw through his clever charade, and you got my back like a true friend. Like I've always had your back. Oh, no. I'm definitely going to milk this. Uh, I mean, who wouldn't? Come on, man. I've been living in shit. And, and yeah, anyways, I'm just saying I'm not stupid. You know, I know what he was up to. You know, that's all. That's it. I knew, I knew what he was up to. So but you, I'm milking you, the shit out of this. You, okay, so you, you're accepting to, uh, you see through his clever charade, and you know he's pulling some crazy shit on me, and you're going to let him do that to your friend? With all we've been through, Ghoulies 1, Ghoulies 3, Jacko, yes. we've been through all that together, and you're just going to let me be under the bus. Just listen, I had, Mr. Flivell had one ball gag in his mouth and, his, and a French tickler on his tail, and all of a sudden... All of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. Like, I meant to do it. I didn't, do, I didn't set that whole thing up. It's not like his mom, like Mother Evil didn't have anything to do with this. Okay, I'm sure, I don't want to even hear that last half. That's being deleted from my memory. But yes, Alex, no matter what we've been through, I am taking what I can get, okay? You've been living the good life. Is it getting colder over there still, or is it, you know? How can it get colder than it already was? It's like 20 degrees in my living... Yeah, actually, you know what's weird? I don't even have a living room anymore. Before we even started filming tonight, before, before the internet was slowed down, one of the walls in the living room was gone. Oh, I man, you really, you really pissed him off. We, it's... <laughs> I don't have a... I have missing a fourth wall. I have no access to heat. Even if I was able to turn the heat up, I wouldn't be able to because it wouldn't, it wouldn't hold heat. And it's raining outside, by the way. What about your sheets? Do they still have a desirable thread count? Or is it, still, is it even more or less desirable? I wasn't aware that dollar store, the Dollar Store General sold bed sheets. But that's where I got them from. It looks like a fucking... It, so it looked like... <laughs> Maybe you can hang one like, up for your wall. It looked like a, a picnic tablecloth that you buy from the dollar store. That's my sheets. There's nowhere to tuck anything. So he downgraded you. Uh, I love it. I love it. I can't. I gotta say, I love it, man. Um, this next movie though that we have to watch, Doctor Giggles. I don't know a whole lot about it, but uh, you made me watch Jason takes Vancouver on it takes a boat to go to Vancouver and then visit New York. And uh, I'm really hoping that this one is a real shitter. Because, uh, man, the tides have turned. Or, or, wait, no. The tables have turned. Something's turned. The screw has turned. Uh, the fortunes have turned. Alex is in the doghouse. And uh, I've got a key to something. Did you get a key? Oh, you did get a key. I, I remember that. You and know, now I've I got a key. Wanna... I don't want to. I didn't want to bring this up because it's embarrassing. But mm -hmm. I don't have a key. But I did have something placed on me, and it looks like an 1860s chastity belt. I don't. I can't even go to the bathroom if I wanted to. I have to actually physically call some guy, a parent, some some guy to come and help assist me use the bathroom or something. Only when I'm allowed to use the bathroom. Well, hey, I got some good news for you. Apparently, you're going to have even more assistance soon because the rodeo clown is going to be coming to stay with you. Uh, by the way, uh, rodeo clown, do you want to say anything to Alex? Go ahead. Ha ha! We are going to have so much fun, Alex. See you soon. Yeah, you're going to have fun. <laughs> what do you think of that? You're going to have fun with the rodeo clown. I don't think much of it. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm going to miss you, Josh. I'm going to miss you, too, a little bit. A little bit. But, hey, you'll have Alex, okay? Man. This is, this is not... He, I, he's not going to have me because he's not coming over here. We're going to get the wall fixed, and everything's going to go Can back to normal. You? This is temporary. So don't get so full of yourself, and don't get used to the high life. 
I'm, I'm not going to get used to it. I'm not going to get used to it, but I'm going to enjoy the. Maybe I'll get a pair of earbuds out of this that stay in my ear when I'm trying to, uh, you know, do the recording for the show. But I know it's. I know it's temporary. I know the guy's name is Master Evil. If you had used your brain and not been enjoying everything so much, having the better, the better attention and the better gifts and the better house, if you had thought a little bit, maybe you would have saw this coming. I did, and I'm going to enjoy every minute of it until I'm back in the doghouse. Either way, we're still prisoners. We still got to watch shitty flicks, and uh, looks like Dr. Giggles is what's up next. So I guess uh, all that's left to say is really thank you all so much for uh, watching us be tortured uh, for the 12th time. Uh, takes a real sick puppy to get enjoyment out of that, but hey, that's the kind of people that we like. So... Uh, <laughs> I guess. I guess yeah. we do. Uh, uh, we'll be back really soon with our next episode. We're going to be watching Dr. Giggles. It's a uh, little slasher flick from, I think, like, 93. And uh, it's supposed to be pretty bad. So I guess we'll see. Uh, you looking forward to that one, Alex? You going to be all right over there? I got to go. I think I'm going to die. I'm very cold. <laughs> Uh, my toes are turning blue. He also well, took all my socks. Well, you got that thin sheet. Go wrap up with that thin sheet. Okay. Oh. You know what? I, I am going to do that. I, I, just heard, I just heard a UPS truck pull up. Uh, I'll, I'll have to catch you later. Rodeo Clown, go sign for that. Uh, see you next time. Bye. What up, Josh? What up, Alex? Slash track. What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head. When Master Evil comes to play And Mother says that it's okay